There's going to be two 10 gig SFP plus ports, my two LANs. We're going to need a riser card to put that in. And I got this little kit to keep it cool from untrusted source. To install that, we need to add a 5 volt fan connector that fits this fan to the motherboard. There's also a USB version, but it's usually out of stock. All right, the first thing we got to do is get our pants off. We'll take out this SATA carrier. Don't need that. We'll take off this little rear plate that I'm not going to use. There was another screw over there. I took it out already. I'm going to take the CPU fan out of the way and take some more stuff out of the way. I'm going to take this bracket off the front. Ta-da! Okay, so with this cooling shroud for the network card that I got from Untrusted Source, they sent uh, these little fan headers. Now, before I solder them on, I'm going to plug in this connector. In case things get hot, that'll help keep these in place where they need to be inside of there. All right, it's got a little bit of tin on there. I'm going to have to bend these. If this doesn't work out, I'll just cut that connector off and solder it straight to the motherboard. Okay, I've had to bend the legs on here a little bit and shorten them up a touch. Now I need to add a little bit of fresh juicy solder to those legs. Oh, damn, I got the wrong tip on here. We'll be all right. Now I want to add some on the pads here. It's got a little bit of solder on there, but that's all. Here's the motherboard location we're soldering to. It's labeled for positive and negative. Hard lead free solder. <clears throat> we want the fresh juicy lead based solder on there. Sorry, you guys won't be able to see this, but I'll do the best I can. Alright, so that's not great. I gotta get them both touching. not perfect but it's pretty solid and this is about what it should look like when you're all done this is an Intel 520 DA2 untrusted source also sent this bracket for it and this is my next my next task these little pointed screws made to go into plastic are going to be what works best Damn, I am shaky tonight. This plate came with vent holes here, but I modified it so I could fit this network cord through there. All right. Like a glove. This secures the riser cord in place. Yours, rear bracket. Wow, I'm liking.
making that that is really clean. See, there's two little holes here. They go on what used to be the mount for that little saddle holder. Okay, that fits pretty good. I'm going to have to tuck away a lot of cable now. Are you ready to put the lid back on? I think so. See if the lid still fits. do is go and take a little bit of height off of this right here and then see how it goes I shorten this thing up a little bit blower fan, the connector to solder to the motherboard, and this uh, back I.O. bracket all came from a company called Untrusted Source, the small guy making these things. There's a link in the description below, but I am not affiliated in any way and paid for everything with my own money.